name is Neil Friedman. I am an ophthalmologist in Palo Alto. I specialize in cataract and refractive surgery. Sure. Well, initially, the, the biggest challenge was getting the first book published, the Mass Eye and Ear Illustrated Manual of Ophthalmology. And so I came up with the concept actually in medical school. During my medical school clerkship in ophthalmology, I um, was looking for an easy to use kind of user's guide for ophthalmology that had good photographs, good images of the ocular disease, as well as uh, kind of outline format, uh, basic text. And so the Wills Manual was used by all the ophthalmology residents in the uh, rotation. And uh, it was a great book, but it lacked pictures. And at the same time I was doing that, a, fr a friend of mine was doing a dermatology rotation and there was a book in dermatology that actually was very similar to the concept I had in mind. Um, for each disease, there was a brief outline of the relevant facts on one page. And on the facing page, there were images of the skin disorder. So I asked one of the residents um, at Mass Eye and Ear, where I was doing my rotation, if there was a similar type of book in ophthalmology and really couldn't think of one. The Wills Manual had the text, but not the pictures. And there was a very good atlas, the Kansky Atlas, that um, had all the images, but very, very minimal text. So I said, well, the light bulb went off and I thought this would be a great idea for a book. Have the basic text with uh, uh, companion pictures and an easy to read guide, kind of like the Wills Manual with pictures and uh, spoke to a friend of mine, uh, 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 spoke to one of my medical school friends, Peter Kaiser, and uh, we started writing the book during residency, and uh, when we finished during fellowship, we were fortunate to uh, get it published. The subsequent books were then very easy because as uh, published authors, when we came up with a new idea for a book, uh, the editors at Elsevier were very supportive and uh, really allowed us to do the subsequent books, the Review of Ophthalmology book and the Case Reviews in Ophthalmology. So in all aspects of medicine are in flux, they're changing, constantly evolving, and ophthalmology is no different. Um, particularly, it is extremely technology driven. Uh, there are new treatment regimens, both on the pharmaceutical side, on the surgical side. And so with each successive edition, we try to incorporate the latest treatment to really keep it up to date and uh, useful for the clinician. Uh, in addition, we try to add additional pictures, improve the quality of the pictures. In the first edition, there were many black and white plates, and now we're almost entirely color, and uh, I hope in this Fourth, uh, upcoming edition, the fourth edition, that they'll all be color images. Um, we've added more to the appendices to have helpful tables, charts, lists um, for the clinician. So for the review of ophthalmology book, uh, we came up with the concept actually quite early during the mass, uh, once we had published the Mass Eye and Ear book, um, we knew that a lot of that information was available for review and we were actually using it to review for the OCAPs. Um, but we know that people study in different ways. Some people like to read just brief outlines or their notes. Other people like to do study questions. So there was a Mass Eye and Ear review manual that just contained review questions and it was an excellent book. But we also thought it would be useful to have some text as well. And so we basically took the information from the Mass Eye and, book, Eye, Eye and Ear book, we reformatted it, we uh, made much briefer uh, text outline for review of each topic, and then we added 25 to 30 questions in each section to mimic uh, the actual questions that appear on the OCAPs or the written boards, and we thought that would be a useful study guide and uh, enable people to kind of choose which method they preferred, reading text, doing questions, a combination. For the case review book, uh, similarly, we knew that for the oral boards we were using our Mass Eye and Ear book to study, and uh, there was really no book on the market that simulated the feel for an oral bo board's uh, type of review. So those are set up pretty much as a case scenario with photographs and questions. And so we thought 
it would be nice to have a similar type of book to study for the boards with. And so this book is divided into a number of sections that again reflect the nature of the oral boards. Uh, there's a case presentation with photographs and then a number of questions. And then on the opposite page, there are suggested answers for those questions.